Hey YouTube, Aiden slash Burger Bob, whatever you want to call me, quick practice video today. Someone just asked me about false tones, um, how they can play a low B. Um, and so I was like, hey, why don't I practice false tones? I just want to show you a little thing that I do to work on them. And this, it doesn't just work on the false tone, it works on a whole bunch of things. So I think it's just a good practice tool to have in your bucket of practice tools. So in this first few, and I'm going to continue doing these with e pole, um, playing the actual note in the real position, going down a major third without moving the slide, and then moving the slide to the false tone. So on B flat, I go down to G flat. And once I find that G flat, kind of make it sound good, quote unquote. It's not really going to sound great. Um, I'll slide to G flat, but keeping a G flat the whole time. You can hear how the sound, the pitch changes to, it's not perfect by any means. I want it to be perfect, but that's why I'm practicing this. C. The lower you get towards the end of the slide when you add the valve, um, kind of the better the false tones get. They're never going to be perfect. That's not a really, really great low B that I can just play loud and attack. But if that's a note in between other notes, if it's kind of short, um, and especially if it's slur. A trombone player will probably know that you're faking it, and not many other people will. I also do this um, another partial up. tones you're probably not going to use to play. I don't ever really need to play a B flat in sixth position or in first with a valve. It's just not something you really need. So um, that's not a big deal. But it's still good to like really play those. And another partial of two. really informs you of where those slots are and where those false tones are. Even if you don't need to use them, like those upper two partials, you're never going to use those, but it really kind of opens you up. It feels really good as like a warm down, kind of a focus back thing. Because um, if you notice my face, I'm really not trying very hard to play into these things. The, the double pedals are also false tones. And it's just a lot harder to get to because they're a major seventh below the actual position you're in. 
So there we go, just a little bit of false tone stuff. Um, I'm playing it on the 60H because I actually need them on this. I need C and B pretty often. <laughs> two false tones pretty often on a single bass trombone, which is why either this is going to get sold, and if you want it, please tell me, um, or if nobody buys it, I'm going to have it kind of chopped up and put another valve on it, because I just can't use a single. There you guys go. Um, you can play these on tenor too, and I really recommend playing them on tenor, especially a straight tenor, because then you get a whole bunch more notes that you wouldn't have otherwise. See you guys next time.